My name is Rie Owens. I am semi-retired art director and newly found passion of painting. So I call myself an artist at this point. Uh, my name is Gail Oliver and I am a visual artist. I do photography is my favorite medium. I paint and I also am a ceramicist. I was born in Los Angeles, uh, I moved here to Pasadena when I was three, so I consider myself a lifelong Pasadenian. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California, and still live there in the Merck Park right now. Well, I was introduced to El Kebilan Center through my father, who was a founding father of El Kebilan. Uh, and I met Diane, who was the director of the center, and when I put on a birthday art show for my dad, who turned 90 in October. And Diane suggested that we do an art show every month and ask if I would help her. So the month of February, we did an art show with my dad. So she said, your show's next. And I said, oh, okay. And I said, Gail, would you do a show with me? <laughs> what did you say, Gail? What am I going to show? <laughs> I said, sure, let's do this. Rie and I have been friends since the late 70s, so we've known each other all our adult life. Um, well, I think after working so many years in advertising and having to get what I felt was my creative side approved, through the food chain of direct, creative directors and marketing managers. Upon retiring, I kind of said, I'm going to do what I want to do without anyone telling me what to do. So I kind of fell into painting that way. Uh, my father's Emerson Terry, and he's a painter, illustrator, and has worked in the field for many, 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 many years until retiring about 20 years ago. Well known in, in the black art community. <laughs> well, I started painting about two and a half, three years ago. Just one painting after another, almost feverishly, as fast as I could. As soon as I finished one, I started another. And there was just so many paintings I had to get out of me. And then I decided I needed a venue of which to share and show people what I'd been up to. So I did an art show of my own about a year ago, and it was pretty successful. A lot of people that I wanted to be there weren't there. So upon having this art show, I've invited even more people, and I have included prints to sell. Uh, in the last show, I had nothing to sell. I didn't even have prices. I just wanted to share my work. Uh, and it wasn't really about the business side of art, and I still don't look at it as the business side of art, but if I can make some money doing it, great. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. I see myself painting, be it digitally on an iPad or on a campus with brush or with chalk on paper. Uh, I see myself creating from here on out. I've been doing photography since 1976. My father showed me how to use his camera. Unfortunately, that same day he, day he passed away. Isn't that interesting? So I'm self-taught and um, I have a mentor now, but I usually just go out and take pictures of beautiful stuff. I like landscape and um, things in nature. Recently, I started doing real estate and architectural photography. So I just do, I love photography. It's a great medium to capture and preserve things like flowers, you catch a flower, <laughs> and, um, and it's all its glory and you immortalize it. So I, I love to record stuff like that. No, I'm also a graphic designer, and that's how Rie and I met each other years ago working at an ad agency. I um, also paint, and I am now doing ceramics. So 
So I like to say I'm a visual artist because I like to piddle in all art forms, mm -hmm. you know, and play. And um, it's fun. It's like playing as an adult. Well, I think when you enjoy what you do, you'll never work again. I know everybody's heard that a million times, but it's almost like um, when I go to work, I am playing. It just happens that, some, you know, most times it pays the bills, but it really doesn't matter. As long as you're doing something that you love to do, then, um, we, you know, it's kind of, I feel really lucky and blessed that I can do that. Now, this is funny. I was actually a biology major. I was planning to go, when I went to Cal State LA, I was planning to be a dentist. And, um, I had a tooth pulled and it hurt and I decided I couldn't do that to anybody. So then I switched to art unbeknownst to my parents, but I only took about a class or two. What actually happened is I got thrown into a job <coughs> where they taught me how to do graphic design and um, in two weeks I was producing a magazine called Black Radio Exclusive. And that was my first job, 1977. So that's how I learned how to do this, and ever since, and, and I have to also give my parents credit. They fostered creativity at a young age with me. Um, they were both artists in their own rights, but I wasn't allowed to get the paint by numbers, coloring books, you know, the things like that. I, they'd give me a pad of paper, a pen, crayons, and, and have me do my own thing. And so I've been creative all my life. say this is really my second. The first one was in the 80s up at Cal Poly San Luis Obispo and that one was my paintings and, and stuff like that. So this is really just the second one. So this is pretty exciting. It's the first show that I've done that shows my photography though because now I have some. <laughs> something to show. Oh I look forward to having more shows. I can't wait to start um, taking pictures. I, I'm, I'm studying vertical panoramas. Usually when you see a panorama, they're horizontal. I'm starting to do them vertically, so I'm going to do a whole study. I've already planned for the next show. A whole study of vertical panoramas to give other people a perspective. I did a palm tree and it's kind of interesting. It was said that it looks like you're standing next to it, as opposed to it being a picture of a palm tree. It's the perspective of you standing on the ground looking up at the palm tree and it gives you the feeling that it's in the room. I think it's important, but I think that it's more relatable for us, black art. I mean, I relate more to the images of black people or the motherland than I do of other races, although I do feature a lot of races in my work, but I, I, I can relate more to black art in, in, in Africa. I just do pretty stuff, so I don't know. I've asked other artists about doing black art, but I'm just a photographer of God's, you know, beauty. So I wouldn't classify it as black photography or I'm just a black person that does art. And I think it's important that we support each other. Um, and I think we all have lots of gifts as to show. As a painter and painting, there's nothing like painting black skin because the way black skin reflects highlights, the shadows, there's so much more to work with. And, you know, no matter what I paint, I always come back to painting black people. The address is 1453 Raymond, North Raymond in Pasadena, and that's north of Orange Grove. And Sunday, August, was April 10th? April 10th. <coughs> from 2 to 5? Yes. We're going to have a lovely reception with um, light snacks. Come meet the artists. <laughs> We're kind of cool and groovy. <laughs> And the exhibit will be up starting today, which is Wednesday, April 6th, until April 14th, which I believe is a Wednesday also. So you have a full week to come view the art. If you don't have an opportunity to come to reception, which would be the best time to see it, but if you don't have an opportunity for that, stop in the El Cabillon anytime during those dates 
from 1 p.m. to 8 p.m. and just take a look.